A metallic blue globe is seen spinning in the center of the screen on a dark blue background. The words vision optional slide in each side. Below, braille letters appear one by one, spelling out vision optional. Getting to know type ability. In the last lesson, we learned where the escape and the function keys F1 through F5 were located on the keyboard. Those of you who may have taken typing classes in the past may be wondering why did we start with this keys, these keys instead of the home row. The reason for this is because these keys perform specific tasks within the typeability software. For example, we are right now located at the end of lesson one, which we completed in the last lesson. And let's say we want to repeat that lesson. To repeat a lesson, you're going to find the F2 key and press it in three times quickly. We'll do that now. F2. Repeating lesson. Lesson one, the top row. I hit the control key to stop the speech. So now we're at the beginning of the lesson we just completed. In order to go to the next lesson, we're going to hit the same key, but two times. So press your F2 twice. I'll do that now. F next lesson. Lesson two, new letters from the home row. A, S, D, F, J, K, L. All right, in this lesson. I hit the control key to stop the speech once again. So we know that the F2 key is important. F2 three times will repeat a lesson. F2 twice will go to the next lesson. But let's say we're on a lesson and we just want to pick a specific lesson for the list that Typeability provides. In order to do this, we're going to enter the lesson picker dialog by pressing the F3 key twice. Let's do it. F this is the pick a lesson or task dialog and it contains. Now we are in the lesson picker dialog. And this is organized in a list, which means that when you learn your arrow keys, you will be able to navigate this list by pressing the down arrow for the next lesson and the up arrow for the previous lesson. For example, if I was to hit the down arrow one time, it will go to lesson two since lesson one has focus. Let's check it out. Two new letters from the home row A, S, D, F, J, K, L. I hit the control key again. Now, if I was to press the up arrow, it will return back to lesson one. I'll do that. One, the top row, escape and function keys F1, F2, F3, F4, F5. Now, once you find the lesson that you were looking for in this list, you would hit enter to activate it. I'm going to hit enter now. Enter one, the top row, escape and function keys F1, F2, F3, F4. The sound you heard, lets you know that you have entered the lesson and it is, be, it is going to start. Now, let's say we start typing. I've done this lesson several times, so I already know what I have to type. So I'm going to start typing now. Escape spacebar three times. Escape, yes, space, good, I get escape, right, space, good, I get escape, yeah, space, you got it, one. Now I have to type it one last time, but let's say I forgot what the in last instruction was. In order to repeat the last instruction, we are going to find the F1 key and press that twice quickly. I'll do that now. F type escape, then space. It said type escape, then space. So these function keys so far, F1, F2, and F3, we know what they do. F1 twice repeats the last instruction. F2, twi uh, F2 three times repeats the lesson that we are on, F2 twice goes to the next lesson, and F3 twice opens the lesson picker dialog. Now let's say I'm done working on my typing for the day and I want to close out of the typeability program. In order to do this, I would simply hit the escape key three times. That's what I'll do now. It's just see now the type of ability software has closed and I am put back on my desktop. In the next lesson, we are going to begin learning the home row. Stay tuned.
A page appears. Subscribe and follow us on Facebook, Anchor FM, and Twitter at Vision Optional.